All right, welcome back to the Roblox course. And in this lecture, we're going to talk about how to reference a part inside of our workspace here. So first things first, we're going to create a new script once again inside of the server script service, just a normal script. And inside of it, what we're going to talk about is referencing game objects. That's what we're going to call it right now. Basically parts, anything that's inside of the workspace. And how can we do this? Well, let's think about it like this. Let's say we want to get the base plate, right? So this plate down here, uh, how can we get this? Well, first of all, we're going to call, make a new variable called local base plate. And we're going to get this by typing, first of all, game. And then we can, so game basically gets you to the part of the Explorer. And then everything uh, at the first level of the Explorer, so everything right here, is accessible. So for example, workspace or players or lighting. So everything in here is accessible through this. And so first of all, we're going to say workspace. And now everything in the workspace is accessible once again with the dot operator. And then we're going to say, well, there's a base plate here. So let's just try base plate. Oh, there it is, base plate. And then we have the reference to the base plate right inside of this variable. Now, we could also think, wait a second, I, I have these parts, I, I, I created these parts last time. Uh, can I reference those? And yes, we can. So let's make a local my part equals to game workspace and then part. Now, however, we run into an issue, and that is we have two parts here. And we could say, hmm, okay, let's, is that going to be an issue? Well, let's see. First of all, what we're going to do is we can then change the properties of this part. Now, this is going to be like we're going to do this in depth even more. We're just going to take a, um, a property that is going to be easy. So transparency. And we're going to set the transparency to 0.5. So this is going to be half as transparent as it would be if it was not. So 50% transparent. And let's just see what happens. So we have said, well, we want the workspace part, but we have two parts in here named part. How does that work? Let's just see what happens if we play. So if we play the game, there they are. And as you can see, one of the parts is transparent and the other is not. Now, if we go here, we can actually see that the first part is transparent and the second is not. So if you have multiple objects, parts in this case, inside of your workspace with the same name, it's always going to take the first, the first part in this, um, in this order, basically. Now, this is why I said that it's not a good idea to have them be named the same. I definitely advise you to always rename them. You can do this by pressing the F2 key or by right-clicking and then uh, choosing Rename. So we're just going to say um, My Part 1 and the other one we're going to call My Part or two, and all of a sudden we can say my part uh, one, let's say, and then let's also rename this variable right here. And yeah, so now uh, inside of here, we actually have my part one. And then if we, we can also just run it. So then we can see it immediately. And then my part one now has been turned transparent and the other one has not. And maybe we want to change this just for the sake of argument. And then the other one turns transparent. If we change what the my part refers to. Right. And so the idea here is that, uh, like I said, there are multiple things that we can do. So my part one, and then as you can see, those, let's say anchored archivable, those are all properties of these parts. So if we look down here, for example, at part, um, you know, we have behavior anchored, we have archivable, can collide, and all of those, um, all of those properties are accessible through our script, and we can we can change them. Now, like I said later down the line, we're going to look at properties in its in their entirety, and we're going to see all of them. But for now, let's just say that maybe what uh, something else we want to do is we want to say, hey, you know what, change the color of the base plate. And we can just do this by doing something like this. So let's say we want to make it green. You know, we can just say base plate brick color equals brick color dot green. Now this is a function, very important. And then if we run this, and all of a sudden the base plate turns green. 
right? So this is, is a way you can uh, reference the objects inside of the workspace and even beyond the workspace. So this is basically how you reference all types of uh, things inside of the game. Uh, yeah, it is very important that it's that you usually do um, may, like save them inside of a variable like this. Uh, you could imagine, of course, we could always write, you know, game.workspace my part and then transparency and, and so on. I would advise to always make a local variable for it and reference it like that. Right. Yeah, that was it for this lecture. I hope that it was useful to you. If there are any questions, of course, always feel free to ask. And uh, yeah.